help. So you've created the model with surface modeling techniques and then you want to mirror it. But at the middle of the surface, you get a ugly edge or a seam. And this video shows you why this is and how to fix it very quickly. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling, starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. Okay, so why are surfaces not smooth? Again below this video download the file and here in the first group I've prepared so if you also check out here the mouse so just that you have an idea so very simple mouse i've prepared here a little bit right so those are the reference images not so important so then you come at the point so where you have to create so as this mouse at the top like this nice smooth connection where your hand rests right so you come to this point but again it can be anything because I over and over and over and over see this mistake that beginners do and it can happen in every instance. But again, so here is the middle, right? So I just created this part and I've mirrored that over, right? So now I want to create the smooth surface at the top. So what I'm doing, I just again, I just need to create. So basically, I don't need even this half. So I select this curve and just this edge and I loft it and you see it's smooth. Here it's G1 because I've set up everything correctly. So that works and you see everything looks fine. Perfect. So why I'm showing you that? Yeah, because now, so if we delete this curve and if we select both surfaces and Alt X and bring to the other side, it still looks good. But then you disable the edges and then you have your nightmare and you have this absolute ugly uh, seam in the middle where you use tangency and you saw that looked straight and correct. So again, if you go here, it looks straight and correct. But if you bring it to the other side, it doesn't. And this is very, very often the case. Again, as I said, beginner forget it, especially if you work with one halves as we always should with surface modeling in most cases. So what was the problem? The problem was is what I told you in all of my previous modules is that if we want to create tangency, a smooth surface around the center, we always have to extrude this curve because look if I select the curve and the edge and loft it here on the edge we have the control if I want G0 or G1 in this instance G1 but the curve doesn't give us information how it doesn't know in which direction to go right because the curve is just like one dimensional kind of. So again you have to always because this is in the middle you have to first extrude this curve. And now you have the supporting phase, but now again, extremely important. So if you would just love this again, you still don't have this information. Why? Because you forgot to delete this curve. So always you have to delete the curve first. So you have a black edge because now from edge to edge loft. And now you see you can use G1. Okay. Press OK. Delete this middle piece. And now let's select everything, Alt X and bring to the other side and Shift E, hide edges and you see now, okay, it's not perfect here because yeah, that was just a quick example, but it's smooth at the top. 
Again, it's not perfect. It's just to illustrate you that, but you always have to extrude um, a curve when you work with symmetry or symmetric object and you want a curved face around the middle. Yeah. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.